Hey team, Jen here. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to share some questions that I have every time I read Charles Dickens's novel Oliver Twist. And first I want to apologize for being really congested today. I um I have a little cold, so bear with me. Uh, in general, whenever I read Oliver Twist, many contexts come to mind, but what really occupies my attention is Dickens's treatment of children. On one hand, one of the things that always compels me about most Victorian texts is the context of child sexuality and also the presentation of children as either innocent or sinful. Um, and I think that during the Victorian period, this is so important because children, the impression of children, the understanding of children was really shifting from its romantic beginnings and changing a lot. But in Oliver Twist in particular, the orphan really stands out, uh, primarily because our protagonist is an orphan, but most protagonists of Victorian literature are orphans. And it always makes me think about the contemporary, uh, the contemporaneous superhero. Uh, Batman, Spider-Man, uh, Superman, most of the X-Men, uh, today's superhero, the way that we imagine superhero dumb, seems to center to a large degree on being orphans. Uh, and for me, one connection between superhero dumb of the 20th, 21st century and orphan dumb of the 19th century, I want to know how we can connect those together. Um, is there a kind of heroic quality for Victorians in the orphan? Um, and what about villainry? I mean, so few supervillains are orphans, although there are some. But what is that relationship? And do we see markers of superhero dumb in Oliver Twist? And if we do, where are those? This is something that I am very interested in kind of exploring. And if you are too, then I look forward to hearing your responses in the discussion forum this week.